I'm going to show you eight mind-blowing things that Coda AI can do, but stick around to the end because I've saved the best for last. Here we go. Use Coda AI to plan a trip around the United States. Let's first create a table of all 50 United States. Here we go. Watch it create that table for us right away. Boom, 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 boom. And 50. So now that we have the 50 states, we're gonna title this 50 states. Let's go ahead and help it find, help give us some ideas of what we can do. So let's add an assistant here and tell it. All right, let's fill that out and see what happens for each and every state. We're gonna call that key activity. Let's let it know that I have kids. All right, here we go. Let's fill it out. Boom, activity to do with a kid. And just like that, we can turn this to some cards. And now I've got for each and every state, I've got key activities I can do in each state and then some kid-friendly activities to do as well. If you work on a team, you likely already have pre-written content. Uh, instead of spending hours kind of editing it and massaging that copy, you can use AI right in the canvas to edit things as they are. Maybe we just want to elaborate on this. And right away, Coda AI does it. Or maybe we want to shorten it. Or maybe depending on our audience, we want to use simpler language. Code AI is incredible for editing already written content in your docs. Maybe you already have written content that you want to edit at a more granular level. Use this template to edit it to your heart's content. We're gonna say that the text we want edited is this PRD from Coda. We can then give it some examples. We say, I want this to be three paragraphs long. I want the comprehension level to be for a 25 year old. Do substantial revision with a empathetic tone. AI is gonna go ahead and write that and edit it for you. We'll see what it does then. And there it is, three paragraphs edited in this tone. But maybe as you read it, you don't like that tone. Go ahead and update your tone to something witty. And it's going to edit it once again in real time. Boom, witty. Once you like it, simply copy it to clipboard and paste it wherever you need. I've got some regular meeting notes here. Uh, different projects, different things, but now I'm going to use artificial intelligence to summarize those meeting notes and then send them to Slack. So let's summarize it first by adding an assistant to this column. Add assistant, and we'll type out its instructions, its prompt. And here we go. Let's fill it out. Boom, instant summary of meeting notes. All right, now that we got this incredible summary of meeting notes, let's go ahead and add a button for Slack. Let's say button. We're gonna access our packs, Slack. I've already installed this, but you can install yours yourself. Post message. We'll say content is column six, which is our meeting summary. Channel our email is equal to project dot channel. Boom, and just like that, we're sending automated meeting note summaries to Slack. If you sell or your team sells a product of any time, you're gonna be collecting customer reviews. And whether you're doing that through a Coda form and getting them in a table like this or using the Shopify pack in the gallery, you're gonna want to analyze them and know which customers love your products. So let's use AI to do that now. We've got customer reviews here. We're gonna have our AI assistant review this analysis. So I've written my prompt here and now I'm just gonna feed it the actual review, customer review, and fill. 
asset to just simply give it a, a numeric value. We can now take all these numeric values. We'll unwrap that. We'll quickly use a format to help us see what is great and what's not. Review analysis uses this. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. In just a single minute, I've analyzed all these reviews and was able to figure out who loves my product and who does not. Now that we have these customer reviews and we've analyzed what they've said about our product, let's take it one step further and see if we can use artificial intelligence to actually increase our sales. So what I'm going to try to do is make an AI column that is going to draft them an email based on how they reviewed our product, either offering them a discount code because maybe they didn't like our product or maybe telling them about a different product they can offer if they loved it so much. So let's write a prompt and see if we can make that happen. All right, let's see if this works. Boom! All of a sudden now we have these drafted emails. It just has your name there, so let's just modify that assistant real fast. Let's see if it'll include that instead of my name at the end. Best regard, shoe company. Boom, boom. Now we could use one more thing. We could use the Gmail pack to go ahead and actually send this email to the customer. Mind blowing. Use Coda AI as a completely incredible copy assistant. Give it some ideas of the text you want to draft. Tell it the kind of text you want. Give it a style, like informal. Give it a tone, funny, a length, three paragraphs, and start your writing right away. Once that writes, you can start changing it right away. So I may want to do one paragraph instead, or I may want to change the tone to enthusiastic. Boom. We can draft another one. And we instantly get these pieces of writing for Coda AI. You can also take incredible things like these buttons and modify it. So if I don't like this one specifically, I can take it and say, hey, instead give me a persuasive style. And it's going to rewrite it for me right in the moment. Coda AI is an incredible writing assistant. <laughs> I've pulled in all my email messages with Coda's Gmail pack. Now I'm going to use AI to decide first, based off the email text, do I even need to respond to this email? And after that, if I do, I'm going to have it draft a response for me and then create a button to allow me to send it automatically. So first, let's decide if I need to even respond to this email. Let's add some AI to this. Now let's put the email text in, reference the current one, let's fill it out. Now I'm going to call this needs to respond. Let's get a quick filter on this. Just find the ones where it says yes. Great. Now let's draft a response with AI assistant. <laughs> Boom, there's my drafted response. Now I'm gonna go ahead, use the Gmail button. Pax, Gmail, send email. We're gonna say equals to from dot email. Subject is equal to a response. Content is gonna be equal to the drafted content by AI. And with that, I've instantly taken all my emails, used AI to find the ones I need to respond to, drafted response to them, and I can now send them immediately. 